Hello, my friends. Wiggle here. Wiggle Tips, Volume 2. Now, if you have hay and you need to tarp it, the way to tarp it is to allow for ventilation but keep the rain off the top. It's kind of like firewood. You want to keep it dry on top, but you want it to have uh, ventilation. So what you do, stack your hay bales. I have some old landscape timbers on the bottom. So you put those down too, and then you just set the hay on it, and it keeps you off the ground. That's going to help. You can use old pallets. You can use logs. You can use whatever you've got. So you get them, and then you want to... That space is too small, but you need at least six or eight inches. And you can have more room if you have it. This is a little bit too much, because you don't want that rain to ever be able to push down on it. I like to just have maybe a foot. But, but whatever, it's not perfect. Then you get this, there's no grommets or anything on this. You, there's uh, places to get like used billboard vinyl. I'm not gonna tell you where or what size or any of that. Just towards your needs and you can get better deals on certain sizes. Just just shop around and get the best. Like There's certain sizes that are like half the price for the square footage. Now you have the problem of how do you hold this tarp down with no grommets. So I've always tried to use logs and I tried to put grommets in there and the little clips to hold it. Put firewood on the end, which I recommend still doing. That way you can just flip it out of the way, add one, take one away, whatever. I've got room for more hay as I get it to just, I'll have a standard length of these rows of hay to match my tarp. But the real thing is, is how do you hold the sides? And there's a lot of different ways, but this, man, is like a revelation for me. And I looked around, I haven't seen anybody else do it. So, left hand in here. You gotta slide a board in there. You can have strings or netting, either way. Pardon me. Doing the best you can here. You want know, to slide that baby in there. Ugh. See, it's right there. This is going to be a trick. Anyway, you get your other board. Actually, I did this backwards. Because I needed the, uh, the thick one underneath the hay. Anyway, you sandwich it in there. It's a little, a little trick I did, like when you're, I used to do roofing and stuff and we didn't have to put tarps on, so you could just use little pieces of wood and screw it, screw it down like little cleats to hold it. Anyway, you just do that. You, you already have the weight of the hay and now you have something secure that you attach to and man, this is going to hold. So you're ready to take it off and the bonus tip on this milwaukee man the best milwaukee brushless you don't even have to necessarily get the fuel get the brushless milwaukee brushless better than dewalt better than makita better than bosch because they're very durable you can burn them up but they they are professional quality tools and they have a lot of tools you can choose from so i really like them um, I, I just recommend Milwaukee. Spend the money and have a tool that's going to last you. And that's what go out.